Hi, welcome to this week's uh, tutorial. Um, I have this photo in front of me. I've painted it many times. It's a little place called Tembe, not far from where I live here in South Wales, UK. And um, as I say, I've always painted it quite bright and colourful, um, which I've really enjoyed doing in the past. But I just wanted to use this, because the shapes are so good, I wanted to use this um, to just sort of brush up on my tonal uh, attention to my tonal skill, skills. So I'm just going to use, I've been using this palette for another painting, so I'm going to try and get some neutrals out of this, you know, there's warm colours, cool colours, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, etc. Um, so it's really going to be about a tonal study. I've drawn it out um, and I probably will hint upon a slightly warmer sky up here. Incidentally, I'm using a, um, a paper called, uh, hang on a second, no, well, I've used it once before, Strathmore, um, so I'm really not sure about it at the moment. It hasn't, um, hasn't really sort of ignited any fires as yet. It's a little bit seems to lack a little bit of um, size or resist but it may be just a case of getting getting used to it so just take some of that off and I'm going to drop this colour now down into some of this area so I've got to try to ignore all those amazing colours the blues, the gorgeous deep pink reds and the sort of um, pinky Naples yellow type colours. So I just want it to be, as I say, a, a tonal study more than anything else. And I'll just lift more off the sky, I think. Just particularly behind the buildings. So let's start thinking about these neutrals. So this is mostly ultramarine blue. So you can sort of see that uh, I'm taking the ultramarine blue from here. I've got a little bit of light red at the edge of that puddle. really trying to convey this silhouetted sort of shape. And as we come down to the foreground, I'll see if I can uh, reserve some light around my figures down here. I have a figure sat on the wall about here. Some very nice shadows going on around this figure. A little bit of a beach area here. I'll show you the photograph again in a moment. Make sure that that head doesn't end up too big. I think with heads, I see it quite a lot. You know, heads tend to get painted quite often. I think when we, particularly when we start out, 
he these heads of our figures are, are, are way too too big, and it's amazing. Um, you know, a, you can make a head too small, a very you know, a, 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 extremely small, um, but it'll never look quite as ridiculous as a head that's too big. It's 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 an interesting one. Um, Always err on the the smaller because, like I say, you know, it's um, the, it looks more ridiculous when you paint things uh, when you make these heads too too big, and a, a, an undersized head will always work fine. So let's try and get try to carve out the shape around my figures here if I can and there's a church here I'm just trying to find that moment that's sort of moment where the um, the paint and the, the, the paper and the and the uh, painter at the optimum dampness to achieve some sh soft shapes but knowing of course that I will have to go in at some point soon uh, and create slightly more rigid shapes, shapes with uh, a, a more defined edge. The underside of a table. The shadow from that table, something like that. And there seems to be a shadow coming off here, which I'm going to exaggerate because it actually in the photo it comes in only just pokes its nose in about here. But I really feel as though um, to get a sense of light, strong light, we'll have another shadow and maybe even a shadow here across the, the, the immediate foreground. Let's get some more ultramarine blue paint. Okay, and maybe even it could just be that there's a a street lamp, something throwing a nice thin elongated shape across from the right hand side. Okay. I'm uh, just changing, just looking now to change some of the temperatures and um, the tones. Some of these uh, brush marks I'm making right this minute are test, test shots to see just how wet things still are. It's drying off at this edge, which it often does. Uh, watercolour paper tends to dry off at the edges first. I think I might need to reduce the height of that figure there. That's better. And to listen to my own advice, make sure that this head on the seated figure here at the table is not too big. A 
there's this wall here and I'll just show you the photograph again so I'm try not to spend to, to, to pay too much attention to the detail within the interior because it is meant this is meant to be a, a tonal study not so much a detail study <laughs> okay. So I think I'll just have to pull my edge back here. Sorry for the lack of narration throughout this, but it's um, it's a, a, a full-on sort of concentration. Of keeping keeping the paint where I want it and control. So let's see if I can get this chimney in. It's still very wet there. One thing I do like about this paper, it does stay wet quite nicely for quite a length of time. And I think I might be at that point where I have to speed dry now. Yeah, I'm going to speed dry here. purposely held back then rather than dry it off completely because there's an opportunity while some of these areas are somewhere between wet and damp just to um, take create some 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 scraped out shapes here Okay. So let's put some a little bit of warmth in the foreground. I think I I will have to uh dry it off a little bit further for this. So I'm going to fully dry it now. I'll pick up 
pick up a little bit of uh, light red, very weak. This is mostly water. I'm just keeping my figures mostly warm. So being a nice sunny day, we might expect people to be in their sh shirts and shorts. Let's have the light on this person's back. And I think we'll just finish this off with a little bit of extra detail. So I'm just turning to um, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, making a glue-like mix. Just show off these details here, mostly in the foreground. I just feel as though these sort of dark areas should be quite warm. So I'm making sure there's plenty of the light red in this mix. Hint of another table over here, maybe. And I think we probably need to consider that to be the finished article. Just feel as though we need to darken up a couple of areas still here.
looks good. The hint of another table over there. There we are folks, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, tonal um, study. Um, kept it as simple as possible, changed it from the original photograph, bright sunny day. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and um, if you want immediate notifications as and when I upload the new videos then all you have to do is uh, click on the bell icon. Till next time, happy painting.